Hi guys, Drew here from Lone Fox. Ever since purchasing this house, I've just been putting so much time and kind of work into painting and redoing walls and tiling floors and new countertops and just the full transformation of a home. Today, I have a very exciting furniture flip for you. Now, I already know that some of the French girlies are going to be coming for me. Some of the people that love shabby chic, the whole French Parisian kind of like, you're gonna be coming for me in a minute. I'm just gonna let you guys know. However, that is just not my vibe. I really I actually was on Facebook marketplace the other day and I came across a absolutely stunning $300 TV cabinet. And when I saw this, I was like, there's no way this is old. Like it's first of all made for a TV, but I love the way that it looked. And I also really liked the color in the photo. However, in the description, it said it was a green toned cabinet. Justin and I jumped in the truck actually mid makeover in my bedroom because we are working on my bedroom makeover right now. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so. So let's just dive on into this together and see what happens. I was just setting everything up to share with you guys the paint situation, but I got a response on Facebook Marketplace. You guys know me and my Facebook finds. Look at this that I found. Okay, so you guys know that I had found a painted kind of distressed armoire that was in my inspo board when I shared the inspiration for this room. I did an entire video on it and it is downstairs. It's stunning. It's beautiful. However, I kind of wasn't obsessed with the idea of always having to have the armoire doors open fully like having these big swinging doors open to have the tv out because i do watch it every single night to go to sleep i just know myself i'm not going to close it every day but i found this really cool piece that i just kind of came across last night and i messaged the lady it's only 300 bucks which not bad at all and the proceeds actually go to a pet rescue i just found out and she said i can come and buy the piece it is so cool it's like a custom green finished so i don't really know what the finish is going to look like we're going to have to see this together. I love the silhouette. I love the shape of it. It looks antique almost. However, I think it's not. I think it's made to look old. I think it would be perfect here. Even if we have to change the color, I think it would be a great piece. This wall is massive and I think it would house the TV perfectly. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how great this is. We got it. We made it fit. Justin and I lifted this ourselves, you guys, into the car. Can you believe that? Look how massive this is. You can really see the color out here. Yeah, it's much greener It's really out here. pretty. It's like a pretty yeah. color, but I just don't know if it's gonna work in the room. It is a faux finish. It's actually on top of wood. So they, someone painted this. It probably was all originally wood. Yeah. Um, yeah, because on the inside you can we're see. Absolutely not it, so it was like not an option. But they also just went in and decided to chip it everywhere, you know, like give it a chippy detail. Yeah. so here is the massive cabinet i mean look how big this is compared to me but as you can see it's kind of this minty green color i wish it leaned a little more sage it definitely has like more of a mint a bright green vibe to it and i know you haven't seen the ceiling color yet of my bedroom which you probably will see at the end of this video when we bring it into the space but the color just isn't right for my bedroom it's just a little too bright a little too saturated and like cheery jolly mint green as opposed to like a muted tone which is what i traditionally go for so i'm going to be painting this cabinet using some chalk paint and we actually got it tinted at lowe's this morning they have tintable chalk paint which is really fun it looks a little something like this so it's in the paint area um and it comes in two different bases this is the deep base if you have a deeper color then they have a lighter base as well but the color that we opted for if you can see it right here it's called antiquarian brown which is a historic color from sherwin williams and I think it's just gonna pair so beautifully with the ceiling color and in my bedroom It kind of actually has a similar color to the original wood of this piece I've never used chalk paint before in furniture But the great thing about it is you do not have to prime or anything beforehand It sticks to virtually anything So we're going to be applying this over the top of the cabinet then giving it an antique finish at the end And hopefully we're gonna have a nice little cabinet at the end of this video. So 
let's see what happens, you guys. Here's a look at the faux finishing on this cabinet. Now, I actually think it's done pretty well. However, the distressing is done super evenly across the cabinet, which I feel like distinctly gives away that it's a faux finish. So I wanna make this look a little bit more uneven. We're going to give this a go. So dipping in. How's it looking? It actually looks really, really good. <laughs> I feel like I'm like putting bronzer on this furniture. <laughs> like putting a good foundation on it. <laughs> These rounded brushes that we got actually make applying the chalk paint super easy. You can get into all the grooves, all the crevices, and you can actually apply it pretty quickly and it dries down fast as well. I actually went in and did two layers of chalk paint. So I'm starting out with the first one here going on, just kind of covering a majority of the surface, but still letting a little bit of that green just show through the tiniest bit. All right, here is a one coat check-in we just finished between the two of us it took us like maybe an hour not too bad and this is pretty massive it looks very bright pumpkiny orange on camera i do not know why it's definitely not as bright as it's coming across on camera and we are going to be adding the antique wax on top which is going to really kind of bring down a lot of the saturation but we are going to be going through adding another coat of paint over the top because i want to even out some of the patchiness I kind of thought I was going to be able to get away with one coat, but the second coat really did even out any of those just large patchy areas that again made it look faux finish. So I wanted to go through and just even this out and give it a little bit more of a streamlined base. So these are the products that we're going to be using to give it more of an antiqued look. So the first one on the right here is the clear wax, and this is just going to go on and kind of give us a nice base to then work in the dark wax. So the dark wax will kind of settle into any of the cracks and any of the corners and crevices. And this one we're going to be applying as a base first to then be able to blend the dark wax out over the top. There's a little maker's mark on the inside here that says Shalon, and then Justin just pulled it up. We found this. It's an entertainment center retailing for about 9,000 pounds. So, I mean, our $300 investment, I think, was totally worth it. And it's literally the same exact one with the crown molding, the same doors, same features here. Um, you can get it in different colors as well. Oh, paint distressing. That's an option. Distressed. Oh, so someone probably got it in, like, a green finish with distressing for 9,000. Starting off with our clear wax, which looks like this and smells like licorice. Now this was actually my first time using furniture wax before and I love it. I am definitely going to be using this on painted projects in the future. I started off with the clear, which you couldn't really see me applying it. So I just did a thin coat over the entire piece. And then I went in with the dark wax here and I started to apply this. And honestly, I wasn't too impressed with the finish. Like I was wanting it to be a little bit more distressed, of course. So I just kind of worked with what I had at the moment. I knew we were gonna to need to grab another product, but I wanted to go around and give this a full coat of dark wax just to get an idea of what it's gonna look like. So check this out. We added the black wax from Magnolia and it just wasn't darkening as much as I wanted it to. It definitely went in and like kind of gave a little bit of a depthening effect to some of the edges and some of these little nicks and areas. So it is looking better. However, we got one more product to try out. This is a product here. It's called Brie Wax and we got this in the dark brown color so this is almost more of like a jelly consistency so it has kind of a solid slash liquid so we are going to put this over the top and see what happens oh that's strong. it smells like it smells like stain yeah it does so we just like kind of put it on and then wipe it off reacts with paint a thick hair coat but i also don't want it to dry Oh. oh, it just takes it right off. Yeah, it dries really fast. It's like you have to like wipe but it on. But it's pretty. And then just like... Wait, why does it kind of look good with the green coming through like that? <laughs> 
So this product was what actually did it for me. I loved using this. It was such a great product, but it did eat the paint off the surface. So you kind of have to work with it quickly. It doesn't eat it once it you kind of like pull it off, but if you let it sit for more than about 30 seconds or so, it does seem to eat it off the surface. So I just went through, it gave a quick wash of the stain and then just quickly wiped it. And it's really easy to smooth out and even over the top, especially if you have your first layer of wax, that just makes it a lot more movable and blendable. I also figured out how to get a little bit of the under side of the cabinet showing. So if you kind of like just put some of this product on and let it sit for like 20 seconds. So then we can go in and let some of that green show through. See that? I just woke up and look at the cabinet. It's looking so good. I absolutely love the way this is looking so far. However, I do feel like there are some spots on here that kind of look a little overdone, like they kind of stand out to me. So I'm going in with just a super fine sandpaper. This is like a one. Oh, this is actually a 320 grit. Just going over the top of some areas to kind of get rid of some of the darkness and then blend it almost with the base a little bit. Here. So with the sandpaper, this is really going to take down any of your brush strokes, any of the areas that you might have had a little bit too much of that Brie Wax product over the top. This is going to smooth anything out, any areas you just see that are a little bit intense, you can also smooth out. So that's what I did around the entire surface. And then I finished everything off with a final coat of the dark wax. And I focused this mainly in the edges, the crevices, anywhere that it would be a little bit darker. It's super light and buildable. So you're able to really create some nice shadows with this. And that is how I finished off this cabinet. So that was this finished little hutch for you. Now, I actually have yet to see this in my bedroom space, so we are going to be bringing that in probably tomorrow. A lot of this is kind of filmed real time on my channel, so we still have to get paint up on these walls. I've been really focusing a lot on the ceiling lately, which you are going to see this upcoming Thursday on the channel. I don't want to spoil too much, and I thought it would be more fun almost to reveal it in the room as well, kind of like a double reveal. So I will see you guys back here on the channel on Thursday, but I hope this video gave you a little insight on how you can maybe paint some newer furniture pieces to look older or even some current pieces you might have just to give them a little bit of that age distressed look that doesn't look like a faux finish. I really feel like we were able to achieve like an authentic aged look on this piece. So yes, if you would like more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.